Hey everybody, welcome back to Run and Gun. I'm JT, and I'm here with my Polaroid 600 little instant camera. This one in particular is a One Step Express Polaroid made a whole line of probably 20 or 30 little specialty Polaroid 600 cameras. And I used to have something similar to this when I was a kid. Mine was black, it was a little bit older. This one was made, I believe in 1998. And the one I had was made in 1993. So back when I was three years old. But these guys are awesome. And I think I'm gonna start a little line of retro camera reviews because these are a bunch of fun. Like I said, I used to have something similar to this when I was a kid. It was just all black and it was very boxy and it really had that kind of cool late 80s feel to it. And this definitely has a 90s feel to it. This thing is just a bunch of fun to shoot with. You shoot these little Polaroid frames and they're a blast to throw up on the wall. Took a little shot of my Z6 Ronin set up here and they're just a ton of fun. So I'll walk you around this camera a little bit. I have my little frame counter out here in the corner so I can see how many frames I have left. A pack of frames now costs about 16, 17, 18 dollars and that's for eight shots. So that's about two dollars and 25 cents or two dollars and 50 cents per photo. So it is a little bit expensive, but I think it's worth it. It makes you really look through the viewfinder frame everything up the way you want it and really think about your composition and think about that moment that you're capturing. I think I'm going to try and do a portrait series with this because it'll really help me strengthen my composition and it's just it's more photo learning and training for me and I love that. This thing has a little camera strap right here. It's velcro. It's adjustable. It's also noisy so I'm not going to take it off right now. I got my shutter button on the side right here. The gray is actually my shutter release and the yellow pushes back the gray if I want to use flash. So if I don't want to use the big flash on top, I just push this gray button back. And if I do want to use flash, I push this whole thing with this yellow button back. And that also pushes the gray button back, but releases the flash. Let's see what else I have here. I have a little exposure compensation thing here, I believe. It just puts a little gradiated piece of plastic in front of the little sensor or light meter, whatever's in here. Not 100% sure how it works. Again, this is just kind of my initial reaction. I've only shot a couple frames on this so far. I've only had it for a couple days. I picked this up on Facebook Marketplace for 30 bucks, and that's a heck of a steal. I know Polaroid is still selling a handful of these. I don't know if they're originals or not, but they cost 130 to 140 to 150 bucks, um, depending on what model you want to get. I'll give you guys a link down in the description if you want to pick one up. I'll also give you a link to where you can pick up some of these film cartridges on Amazon. They are expensive, but it is fun to play with. And just coming out here in nature and shooting is a blast. It's relaxing. I don't have to worry about how I'm going to post-process these photos later. I wave this thing around, and I don't think you're supposed to shake these, but they're so much fun. There's the whole phrase, uh, shake it like a Polaroid picture. but everything, everybody likes to shake these things. I don't think you're supposed to because I think that does something, I think it damages something in here with whatever developers in this frame. But people used to think back in the 90s and 80s, you shake these things and more air hits it and the air develops it. I don't think that's how it works. I'm not 100% sure, but again, just my initial reactions to this thing. It's a blast. This is the kind of nature forest green version. It just has that smooth 90s feel that everything had to it. I don't know if you guys remember in the early 90s, there were those big bulky computer monitors that really looked like this. They had the screen in front and this big bulky back with the whole tube set up. Um, some, of you, some of you may not be old enough to remember that, but I certainly do. But this is pretty cool. I love the square composition. I always hear people say this is the original Instagram and this is kind of what Instagram was modeled off of was these little square Polaroid photos and that kind of old school look and I love kind of I have a little bit of a light leak on the top of this one there's some little streaks in it that almost look like lightning but I feel like I'm back in the 90s and I told you guys in other videos I'm a sucker for the 90s I grew up through the entire decade and those were the good times. So I actually think I'm gonna start 
collecting these cameras, I told my mom that I bought this and she found the original one that I used to shoot with back when I was a kid, black boxy version, Polaroid 600. And she bought it for $21 back in 1993. And a pack of 10 shots of this film cost about $11. So actually not too much cheaper than it costs today. The price has kind of doubled and with inflation over uh, 24-ish years, 25 years, that's not too bad. So this thing's fun. I'm gonna do a lot of playing around with it. I will do an official review for you guys on this Polaroid 600. It's just a ton of fun to play with. You don't have to edit your photos. It can just be you and your camera and you instantly have those memories that you made and those moments you captured. So I would definitely recommend picking up one of these guys. I will do a full review on it once I've gone through a couple of cartridges of film. Once I've shot about 100 photos with this, I'll give you guys a review probably in a month or two. It'll be great to be shooting some old Polaroids of this gorgeous landscape in Colorado. I love Colorado. So I think I'm actually going to start a series of retro or vintage camera reviews and this is going to be the first one when I get around to it. So make sure you guys look out for that and I think that's all for this video. I love this camera. It was a ton of fun. Just bought it so still getting around to it but I love it so far and even if you find one that doesn't work it's a great little piece to set up on your desk. So that's all for this video. If you've ever shot with a Polaroid or you want to, let me know down below in the comments and we can have a little chat. I try to reply to all the comments. And if you wanna see more of my retro and vintage camera reviews in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're getting all of my videos and that notification button so YouTube will let you know every time I drop a new video. So until next time, get out and go shoot.